Do you believe he is able? Because that's the number one written rule question that you've got to ask yourself. Don't bother praying for someone unless you think he's able. You know, there's no point because right there, your, your belief in unbelief has just burst any bubble of them having hope. And so we challenged our whole team on that morning. Tom, do you want to come up and get ready? I am able to do this, he said. Yes, Lord. According to your faith, let it be unto you. And so on the morning that we saw like popcorn eyeballs opening, literally. You know what popcorn looks like? Yeah. Some, is anyone there? Hello? Yeah, popcorn. It's like just loads of little kind of pop, pop, pop. Eyeballs started to open. Pretty similar to that. Everywhere we looked across the widow's outreach when we had the healing tent was literally an eye is opened. An eye is opened here, an eye is opened there. And we started off, there was this one lady, and then I'll hand to Tom, who's completely blind and she was also deaf in one ear. We started with her eyes and she could not see, like as far as I am here, she could not see there were two fingers, completely blind. And then we started to walk back and the Lord said to who I was with and with one of the team, said spit in her eyes and then make her wash and own the healing. So we got a really cold bottle of water and we made her wash. We hadn't seen breakthrough the first time we prayed, but when she took ownership and washed her own eyes, her eyes opened and she started to see. And as we got further and further back, right way back to the camera, for example, she could see that I was holding five fingers up. And then we started to do the same with her ear. We're like, God's just healed your eyes. He's going to heal your ear. And she couldn't hear anything. And then we kept going and going. And then I think it was Tom, I said to you, just stick your fingers in her ears. And I think it was like the lady you spat on the fingers, stuck fingers in her ears, and then took the fingers out. And as I walked back, I was saying, Mama, could you? Really quietly, which is, come here, Mama. And she couldn't hear, and then suddenly, Mama Kudja, and she repeated it to the interpreter. And I got further and further back, and again, about the same distance to the camera, she could hear what I was saying really quietly when there was loads of other noise going on. Jesus is real. But you know, what it started with with me was, uh, do I believe he's able? Do I dare to believe a hundred blind eyes this year? Declare a thing and see it established. And so faith started to rise in our hearts. And then when we took the team out and started to tell them about the faith we had, faith is contagious. Because your belief system, your bubble of belief, starts to have an impact on other people. And before we knew it, we saw every single person testing different eyes. And you're like, whoa, Jesus over there. Come on, eye open, come on. And so God literally started to heal blind eyes like popcorn. I think we so far, we've got up to nearly is it 52 recorded blind eyes or nearly blind eyes opening from the trip. So we're halfway to the promise that he promised on the 1st of January. And that's not because of me and Stu, that's because of the faith of the ones that you chose to step out and say, I'm having it. I'm taking it too, it's what we're called for, amen?